Fonterra of Acogia, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the Irish at Home and Abroad. Don't forget later on in the programme, we're crossing over the Irish Sea to join Martin Logan in Manchester. But first, we're here in the town of Tune for the launch of their annual traditional music festival. So let's go inside and see what's happening. This year's festival will have an array of events. We'll be opening the festival on Friday evening at the Carly Court Hotel and we're always joined by all our local musicians and uh, musicians that arrive on Friday, they're always there with us. On Friday night there'll be sessions in all the bars and uh, also on Friday night the Kings of Connacht who are under new management now, they're just from up the road in Montpellier, they're coming like for a relaunch of, of the Kings of Connacht, they will be in the R3 Hotel. Then on Saturday morning we have we start off around 11 o'clock in the morning with the workshops. We have uh, the creme of the creme of tutors coming from all over the England and Ireland. Our uh, pipe tutor is coming, Risa Farris, is coming from London. She's a friend of the festival, has been coming for many, many years. We have Eileen O'Brien from Tiberi, fiddle player, extraordinaire. We have Liam O'Brien on the Concertina, he's coming from Minton Malbe, Dahi Gormley from Sligo on the box, and numerous other people. And everything can be found on our website at www.tunetrendfestival.com. Reefy's Bar dates back to the 1860s home of traditional Irish music in tune. There will just be trad music on here every Thursday night, maybe a Sunday session as well. Uh, and are you looking forward to the annual traditional festival? Very looking forward to it. It's the perfect setting for it, in my opinion. Um, there's going to be traditional music here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Two sessions on the Saturday. Looking forward to all, welcoming all the local musicians and the worldwide musicians that are going to come in and play. And does it attract a lot of visitors into your pub now during the traditional music? It week? does of course, especially during the summer we get a lot of tours. A lot of tours come down, take photos with the musicians, videos, absolutely enjoy it. So you're going to have a busy week of it then? Busy weekend, please God, please God. I, I started off in 1973, uh, just catering for the bar trade. And then as time went on, I diversified into catering in a big way. And now we're probably the biggest catering suppliers in the west of Ireland. And of course, a lot of people come to you for various sponsorship. I know you were very uh, good to the Galway football team over the years. Well, I sponsored Galway. I was the first sponsor of Galway football back in the late 80s. And then in 1990, when sponsorship of the county teams came in, I was the first sponsor of Pat Bacton and Soup Maximus Effa, but the two first, he, he was the hurling and I was the football. And, Thank God it went well. I won two senior All Irelands, two yeah. under twenty ones, and a minor with my jersey. You know, which yeah. is which was great. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you're also a sponsor for the last number of years of the Tune Traditional Music Festival. I sponsored that for five years, and then well, it lapsed last year. And then when Anne Cohn um, asked me to, but I sponsor again, I said I would. Mm -hmm. So it's I think it's a great thing for the town, anyhow. And are you a fan of traditional music, uh, Tom? I would be, but when I was growing up to be, I was a rock and roller. And this was a great <laughs> town for show bands, yeah, and show bands and <laughs> Bill Haley and all the, that time. I remember the Mal Cinema seeing Rock Around the Clock back in the 50s. And mm -hmm. I was sold in rock and roll after that, but I loved traditional music. I was in the brass band here in show myself for a lot of the people who became legends in the show band scene. Mm -hmm. And I, I can see now why it's important to you as a sponsor to want to uh, promote the Trad Music Festival because it's, it's important for the well, town. Well, it's important for the town, you know, give it, um, 
give it a bit of publicity instead of bad publicity. That's why I say, on fair play to Anne, all blonde who came from Joom, Tierney's, they're an old Joom family as well, even though she's Roscommon herself, which she isn't too proud of after last <laughs> Sunday or anything like that. <laughs> How important is this festival for the town of Tune? It is so important. It's the only festival this year, and um, it's just a feast of traditional music from Friday, and actually it doesn't finish Sunday. It probably goes on until Tuesday, to be quite honest. Just to remind people of the dates of the festival. It's starting on, fr on Friday the 15th of September, and it will go through to the 17th of September, Sunday night. But usually then we have a, a, a day for ourselves in the Rustic Falls then on Sunday. On Monday, when all our musicians come together, those that are um, around, and we have our own session and we can sit back and enjoy things. A lot of planning organising this festival throughout the year. Absolutely unreal. But I have great help and I have great uh, friends from around Tume and my uh, musicians like we had on the program today. We had uh, the Canes who have been friends of the festival and so good to me for so many years. The Donlins, Eilish was there today with us, um, her children, Rory, um, Fergus and Olivia. They have been involved in uh, Re-Raw. They are so good to the festival. Um, the McHughes, the Grannies that were here today. There are so many people that are so good will um, always be there. You always have backup from musicians. Well, enjoy the festival and well done to you and your committee for Thank organizing you very a great much. weekend. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank uh -huh. 
Thanks to Anne Cohen and the committee and all the wonderful musicians and indeed all at Reapy's Bar here in Tune. Uh, we had a wonderful time at the launch of this year's Tune Traditional Music Festival. And don't forget, we'll be back in a few weeks' time to cover the events. Now, coming up after the break, we're heading for Castle Bar for the launch of the Mayo People of the Year Award. So we see you in a couple of minutes. Walter very welcome back to part two of the program. Now we're heading for Castle Bar for the launch of this year's Mayo People of the Year Awards. Tonight, Henry, we're having the launch of the biggest and best year ever of the 25th Annual Rehab Mayo People of the Year Awards. And of course, it's our 25th year, so it's, we want it to be bigger and better than the ever has been. And as you are witness to the crowds we have had over the last four years, you know, so hopefully we can have the biggest year because, you know, all the people of the unsung heroes of our, our community are living amongst us. You know, we have some of them gathered here with us tonight, last year's recipients. And, you know, it's a great platform for us in rehab um, because we get to know the people and the people get to know us. And we, earlier we had um, some of the council and some visitors into the, our building in Brafey Road. And that building has been refurbished to the value of one million in the past two years. And over 220 service users access that building every day for training and education or independent living. So it's important that, that uh, the contributions keep coming to, to County Mayo. Um, we're not the forgotten county, that's for sure, not when it comes to services for people with disabilities. We take great pride in rehab care of the services that we deliver. Tom, a very special uh, People of the Year awards this year. It is indeed, Henry. We're celebrating the 25th anniversary of it and we're looking forward to an absolutely super night on the 26th of November in Bravey House. Uh, we expect huge crowds and we expect fantastic nominations. Uh, just been launched, it's been launched tonight and uh, we expect that the interest in it will be huge across the county. Uh, the awards themselves um, started with rehab care when we um, were approached by Kevin Burke then would be become sponsors in the Count Telegraph and we were only too delighted to do so and since then we have been behind them all the way and in doing that we have raised quite a number of euros and pounds as they were for, for uh, rehab services all in Mayo. Uh, Father, you were a recipient of the Hall of Fame award yes, last year, how yes. did you feel about that? Well when Idel phoned me up I was just wondering uh, was there a mistake and then I said Hall of Fame instrument people who are on the shelf and I was only 80 at the time. <laughs> so I said, uh, is it for age or? And he said, no. And then I said, oh, I know what it is. It's for the community on behalf of the community because we were celebrating 800 years last year. Mm -hmm. So um, as it turned out, what it did refocus on me on the number of organizations and people within the community who work so hard and get little recognition. So that from the night of the, re of the awards, we had, I think, 20 uh, groups represented. And within each community, there is, there is a richness and a, and a tradition. And I suppose that Ballantrubber has a very rich tradition. And this time of the year, uh, we think of Reek Sunday, next Sunday, and the Tohar, the, the old pilgrim path, the oldest pilgrim path in Europe. And um, what we always say at the beginning, you know, we ask them to say, thank God for being able to do it. And the many people who'd love to do it are not being able to do it. And yet, uh, I, I think of rehab because they enable people who to walk tall in their own categories when they would be perhaps, perhaps without rehab not be able to, to, to uh, fulfil themselves in all their capacities. 
Celtic Media Group have been the proud sponsors of these awards uh, through the Comic Telegraph. We're the, the proud owners of the Comic Telegraph for the past number of years, and the Comic Telegraph has been the sponsors of these awards from the very beginning. Have you been impressed with these awards over the last number of years? Absolutely. With the calibre of nominations, the calibre of people, and they're there to acknowledge the work of both volunteers and, and uh, people who work for rehab care. And what impresses us most is that all of the funds raised are used in the county, in County Mayo. They stay here. And you're looking forward to the event itself? Always do, always do. Well, every award uh, given down through the years has been duly um, appreciated by the people and the sectors who uh, receive them. And it's also important that we see uh, the work being done by Rehab Care, by the Connacht Telegraph, and uh, by Mayo County Council in ensuring that people who deserve to be rewarded uh, and remembered for the work they have done are, that are represented in that fashion. I'm delighted to be here in Brafey House Hotel. Uh, what a fantastic setting. Um, I want to compliment everyone that's involved. I'm here as Deputy uh, Cahir of the Castlebar Municipal District. And on behalf of the people of the Municipal District, I want to compliment uh, Rehab, uh, especially um, E. Dilk Haddon and all the hard working committee. And I would advise people out there that um, any people that uh, have done well for the community, whether it's just a matter whether it's whether it's sport, whether it's involved with young people, um, people that have done great work, me or people that have done uh, great work overseas, there is the Diaspora Award, uh, which is very, very important. And uh, I'd ask people out there to, to fill in these application forms that are available. And I want to wish the people well and compliment all the people here that's involved. Over the years, over the last 25 years, people have been recognised that otherwise uh, wouldn't have been recognised. They have given their time um, free of charge, given their total commitment to helping out those in the community, in many cases those who are less well off and those who are need, in need of, of assistance and in need of help. And, and some of these people, uh, if it wasn't for these volunteers, they would be in a sorry state. The, the nomination forms are available uh, from the Rehab Centre in Castlebar, from the County Telegraph and from Mayo County Council. Now they're also available online and if someone gets in contact we can email it to them. And do people have to have a special criteria to enter? No, I always say no. I always say it's, this is the unsung heroes of our community. You know, the three, the few points I always go on are achievement, commitment, courage, persistence and distinction. And there's, we, we will see as the months progress the categories, we meet all these people that do so much good and never get anything in return. And we as a county and we in rehab care just want to reward those people and let them know we know the good that you're doing. Uh, the closing date for the nominations? The closing date will be October the 6th and uh, the adjudicating will take place a couple of weeks after that. Then we will announce the finalists and the function itself will take place on November Saturday night, uh, November the 25th in Briffey House Hotel. Right across the county, uh, we would have both individuals and we have groups and we would have communities that, that got awards for various things. There would be people that are just out there every day doing their own voluntary work or something like that. And it's, we just say, well done, and we give them a night out and, and celebrate. I'd encourage people, now is the time to start putting something together, pen to paper, of somebody that you know that has done something great, or not even something great, a good little turn along the way, you know, that has made a difference in people's lives. That's what we're looking for. Well done to everybody involved and we're certainly looking forward to going back to cover the award ceremony in November. Well, it's almost time for us to go. Before we do, just to remind you, coming up after the break, we're crossing over the Irish Sea once again to join Martin Logan in Manchester, who has some more great stories featuring the Irish community in the UK. So all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching. Do join us again next week at the same time. So, good night, everyone. Boherlat, August, good day, shift slong. Collins Music Castle Bar, suppliers of musical instruments and books for over 100 years. It was on the road to Dublin that I met a pretty girl. She looked so good that it was quite disarming. I stopped and I asked her if she wanted to go home or if she had to stay until the morning. 
And she said, right, all right, sure, we'll get along tonight. And we'll think about each other in the morning. Is there a way? No way. I can take you in today. And you'll have to think about me when you're young. She took to me quite lovingly, and she had much to say. And I never felt the cold as it was brought. And then she turned and said to me, I think I've lost me way. And suddenly I knew me heart was glowing. And she said, right, all right, sure, we'll get along tonight. And we'll think about each other in the morning. Is there a way? No way. I can take you in today. And you'll have to think about me when you're young. We came upon a crossroads and she asked me to get down And we danced a merry jig among the hawthorn I never felt her hand as she removed me wallet brown And we danced some reels and jigs until the dawn And, and she said, right, all right, sure, we'll get along tonight And we'll think about each other in the morning Is there a way? No way, I can take you in today And you'll have to think about me when you're young Right. All right, sure, we'll get along tonight And we'll think about each other in the morning Is there a way? No way I can take you in today And you'll have to think about me when you're young Now that my story has come to an end She upped and she left me without warning so here I am today without a penny to my name And I wish I'd never met her in the morning And she said, right, all right, sure, we'll get along tonight And we'll think about each other in the morning Is there a way? No way I can take you in today So you'll have to think about me when you're gone And she said, right, all right, sure, we'll get along tonight And we'll think about each other in the morning Is there a way? No Collins Music Castle Bar, suppliers of musical instruments and books for over 100 years.